Say good morning, YouTube family. Say you guys wanna vlog with us today? Say, well, today we are starting off with some breakfast. Say mama made some banana pancakes and I got yogurt because I don't really like scrambled eggs and some blueberries. Jariah's new favorite. Mmm, that banana pancake be hitting, don't it, Papa? It be hitting. All right, so this is what my banana pancakes is looking like. I wish the um, flash was on so you can get that good, good glimpse of it. Um, after I eat, I'm gonna go ahead and take these. I accidentally got these. Um, I wasn't really reading the instructions, but I believe, yeah, these are for women that are 15 older. So, um, <clears throat> not quite there yet, but you know, I'm reaching there, but I feel like they'll be fine. Um, I also got the kids some gummies as well, so they can start taking a little daily, daily vitamin. And then, yeah, um, on top of my banana pancakes, I put a little bit of honey and I'm about to put some hot sauce, some hot sauce on my eggs. And then once I eat, I'll come back and check on y'all. Zuri is like literally almost done. I didn't even get a chance to sit down and eat with her. And she has her little chocolate milk too. Jariah has his chocolate milk. I think my camera's dirty, that's why it looks like that. So the next clip should be cleaner, <laughs> sorry. All right, you guys, so I just got done answering some of y'all's questions on uh, on YouTube from the comments that you guys left last night. Today is August 21st. My period came on, it snuck up on me in the middle of the night like a thief. I had on this cute little lace little romper that I had got from Victoria's Secrets and it's like a cream color. So I was looking like a bride that had just lost her virginity the night before when I woke up. So it was real nasty. So I know it's probably TMI, but I did want to come on here and show you guys the outfit for today. It's very simple, but it's giving me very much vibes only because this t-shirt right here this t-shirt right here is is from my own merch line baby <laughs> excuse my nail is broken but that queendom come is from my merch line that i am releasing mm -hmm. this is a tribal blend tee for women and it is so comfortable it is so freaking soft and i absolutely love it so I wanted to wear some shorts or whatever, but I didn't have any that went with it. So I just have on my black Fabletic high-waisted leggings and I am pairing them with my blinged out Steve Madden sandals, which are so comfortable, super, super comfortable. And then this is like my, my faux Terry Birch bag that I got from Ross. Y'all see this all the time in every video. So yeah, this is my little outfit for the day. We about to go to the outlet. So their dad sent them some coins. So we're gonna go get them some shoes and we are gonna go get them some, um, I'm gonna get Zuri a few more outfits for school because her sheet in order doesn't get here until the 28th of August. And all I got her was dresses and I feel like that's kind of boring. Like she already wore three dresses to school this week. So I'm gonna look and find her some cute little shorts and also some, um, probably like some tank tops or something to go with them. So a few pair of shorts, um, a few shirts, and then shoes for the both of them. I'm gonna get Zuri some tennis shoes and I'm gonna get the baby some tennis shoes because um, she already has like a black pair of slides that she has on. And then she has like the pink ones, which kind of go with a lot of stuff too. So that is it. We about to head out to the mall. So I will see you guys when we get there. Before I do, let me show you my other piece of merch. My other piece of merch that I put in my bathroom, you guys. So it says, thy queendom come. So every time I come in the bathroom, it's like, bam, you better get your queendom together. You better keep your queendom together. What do you want the queendom to be about today? Is it gonna be about peace, love, and prosperity? Or is it gonna be about <laughs> something else? So yeah, as soon as I 
get out of the bathtub or whatever when I'm laying in my bed I can see it but yeah it's just a really big poster I got the frame from Amazon I will you know leave the link down below if you guys are you know interested or whatever but yeah I'm so bloated I didn't eat I didn't drink a whole liter of water I didn't eat all that pancakes took that vitamin but let me let me see get it together says get it together okay oh and this shirt is in a large in case you guys are wondering but yeah let me go ahead and head out this is what i mean when i be like oh yeah i keep my house clean or whatever the only thing that's not clean is these kids room like everything is clean everything is clean like i'll be trying to keep everything clean or whatever you know oh excuse me dry like i'll be trying to keep everything clean you know what I'm saying? I just put that in there. But for the most part, everything be clean. Like, it be clean, clean. And then you get to their room and it's like, I don't understand like how they room be looking like this. I don't understand how they room be looking like this. Like that. And like this, like, and they don't even be in there. How you get your room so dirty, Jariah? Mm, mm. Why is your room like this? Hmm. Jariah, we haven't even went out yet. I don't need you to be doing all that whining. We haven't even left the house yet. And you already starting to act up. Can you be good so we can have a good outing? No. No? Why are you stepping on that? You trying to break it? No. That's what it seemed like you trying to do? But also, you guys, I'm happy because this is going to be my third attempt trying to go and get my freaking hair cut. First time I went, I went too late and then everybody left early before the barbershop closed and didn't cut my hair. Second time I went with the kids and got their hair cut, but I was so pissed off at the service that I didn't get my hair cut. So this is my third time within the last week and a half of going out trying to get my hair cut. I feel like this time it's going to be, you know, third time's a charm. So um, they have a barbershop at the, the mall. We're going to try it out, see how it works. Hopefully it goes good. Um, if not, then like I said, I still have one that I found on Google that I feel like Google, <laughs> Google, you said it, you wanna go on Google? But yeah, I have one on Google that I found and um, mm -hmm. I'll try that one next unless this one works out then it's kind of perfect because everything is at the mall. So that would mean like I could just do one large outing at the mall and get everything done and then come back home without having to live to like this place, that place, this place, that place. Like everything is conveniently at the mall. So that might be where you see us the most. But yeah, I'm waiting on the lift right now. I'm about to make sure I have his diaper bag and stuff together, some snacks and stuff like that. And then, we gonna head out. Daddy, his own car. All right, you guys. So we are at the outlet. I got Jariah in his little his little cart thingy. I'm about to go inside of Carter's Babies and Kids and see what I can find in there. So we didn't do too bad in that store, y'all. So now we're about to go into this Oshkosh Bigosh store. So I can see if I can find Zuri some basic plain tops with no print or anything like that on there. So Zuri has been bugging me to get her a fidget. Is that what it's called? No, it's not called a fidget. It's called a pop it. They have some cute ones. Look at this TikTok one. TikTok. Ooh. I picked the boba one. I picked the boba one. Look, I just picked the boba. Ooh, 
She just really came over and snatched it. How she know I didn't want it? That's the one you want? Yes. Okay, let me see. It's my first time getting a puppy. Okay, let's go pay for it. Ooh, I want to pick one of those octopuses. The octopus? No, you have to get another um, pop it, okay? Boston, home to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. We met with Hugh. That's a synthetic robotic limb. What are y'all watching? So it's a documentary. It's called Being Better. What that means? Okay. It's a documentary. I'm sorry. On YouTube, we're basically just like what I was saying earlier. We're basically on. Point out the things that are. Okay. Y'all see how I just got my hair cut? Oh, whatever. But and um, I'm about to go to I don't know what the back looks like because I didn't see the back. But I feel like at this point, <laughs> I'm gonna try that one last barber. And then if that don't work out, then I'm about to just buy me some clippers and start cutting my hair myself. Cause this don't make no, this don't make no sense. I feel like he was scared. He didn't really know what he was doing. Maybe he was like a new barber or something, but my hair looks the same. Like it looks exactly the same as it did before I went to the barber shop. So, um, yeah. But anyways, we are waiting in this line. Zuri wants to try a, a, um, a boba tea. So we're gonna try that. I've never had one. I'm not gonna get a tea. I'm gonna get a coffee though. So yeah, we're just waiting in line cause it's pretty packed in there and I don't wanna bring him and this cart in there cause it's like a little bitty store. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll show y'all what it looks like when I come back. You only want to take out the trash? Can I see your drink? 